Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're KNL Everyday CNA. Two different topics today on the show. World Alzheimer's Day is tomorrow, September 21st. Mm -hmm. It is a type of dementia that can cause problems with thinking, behavior, with daily functioning, and memory. A few facts are every 65 seconds there is a diagnosis of the disease, some say this could increase to every 33 seconds. Mm. By the year 2050, 14 million could be affected. Mm. This is the sixth leading cause of death. And the cost to treat is around 270 billion each year. And it's estimated that 18 billion is unpaid labor hours of caregiving. There are three stages. The early stage is mild, able to function independently, drive, work, have a part of the social lifestyle that they desire. Mm -hmm. Some symptoms are short-term memory loss, Remembering new information, names of finding the right word, difficulty with planning or organizing, losing or misplacing valuable or even everyday objects. Mm -hmm. The middle stage is moderate, known as the longest stage. This stage is more noticeable. And some symptoms are forgetfulness of events, own personal history, withdrawn, moody, and challenging situations, Unable to recall address, telephone number, confusion about where they are, what day it is, dress properly, become incontinent, sleeping habits change, they wander or become lost. Do you think that is where most of our veterans are that we care for on our special care unit? Yes. Yeah, they're right, they're right in there. And that does seem to be the longest stage. Yes. Mm -hmm. The last stage is very severe. It's difficult to watch and it requires around-the-clock care. And those symptoms are losing awareness, ability to walk, sit, or swallow, become aggressive, have depression, susceptible to infections. Mm -hmm. This stage can be emotionally, financially, physically demanding on one providing care. A very crippling disease. Yes, it is. In this picture um, that you will see behind us, you see the flowers. Each color represents someone with Alzheimer's or dementia. The orange supports the cause. Purple symbolizes a loved one loss to this crippling disease. Yellow to denote a caregiver for someone with Alzheimer's or dementia. Blue to indicate someone living with it. White to end Alzheimer's. Someday in the near future, we will only see the color white. Let's talk about something to celebrate. What do you think? <laughs> this month is also National Rehabilitation Awareness. It's a time to show appreciation to our rehabilitation professional. Mm -hmm. Physical, occupational, speech, and our RNAs that devote themselves to improving quality of the life for patients and clients. Mm -hmm. Here is our team of RNAs, Restorative Nursing Assistants, from the state of Missouri and at the Missouri Veterans Home in St. James. Randy Leslie, Skylar Collier, and Lethal Nichols. We were able to ask them a few questions. Mm -hmm. Number one was, what would you say is your biggest concern or complaint? Some of their answers were staff retention, being pulled from their department to where their work could fall behind, better communication. I feel our patients don't get the care they need due to the CNA patient ratio. And being the voice of our veterans, but not being heard was some of their concerns. Yes.
Number two was, what has been the most rewarding thing? And here was some response. The hugs, smiles, and laughs from the veterans. They help. Know, what, know that at the end of the day, I took care of someone's loved one. Taking care of one of God's children, that is my duty in life, and that is the most rewarding thing. Love listening to their life stories and being able to help when others are not listening. Yes. The third question that we were able to ask them was, do you feel you are listened to by other staff members? Some of their responses were, equal staff, yes. Upper staff, no. I would have to say again, better communication. Some of the nurses do not want to listen to what the CNAs or RNAs have to say or what they are concerned about. Communication is bad between everyone and our patients suffer. So, we appreciate the time they took to answer our questions. Letha, Schuyler, and Randy, thank you for your hard work and dedication to our American heroes. And happy RNA week. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to CNA TV. We'll see you next week, same place, same time.